Hi, my fellow student. So we are going to discuss calculation about electric force. All right. So for this question, okay, actually, I should specify. We are going to find the resultant electric force. Eh? So this one is our keyword force. We want to find the resultant on which charge. This is important too. We want to find the resultant on Q2. Okay. So first step will be the first step will be we are going to draw the direction of force because we know that force actually is a vector quantity it has magnitude and also direction so first step will be we are going to draw the direction for the force on on where on q do maksudnya ara force mesti Mula dari Q2 Mesti dari sini So in this case Negative negative Charge yang sama kan Charge yang sama Repel kan Repel maka arah force ini Menjauhi Q1 lah So we have F upper Ini adalah force dari Charge 1 Ke Q2 So we have F12 here Alright Macam mana dengan ni? Negative positive charge yang tak sama unlike charges always attracted kan? So, how you going to show is attracted? Okay? Jadi kalau dia tertarik ke arah ini maka force ini ke kanan juga lah. Okay? Jadi ini adalah force dari mana? Force dari charge nombor 3 ke atas Charge number 2 kan? So we have this. Jadi, how I label the force, you should do it consistent. Maksudnya, dekat sini, contohnya F12 ini. F12 maksudnya force dari Q1 ke atas Q2. So I have F12. Ini adalah force dari dari Q3 ke atas Q2. Acting on pedintak ke atas mana charge ini untuk medium medium letak dua ini dekat belakang saya kena buat ini secara konsisten nah, ingat alright jadi selepas saya menentukan arah dia apa yang what is the next step we are going to calculate what are the electric force for F one two jadi apa formula dia maka kita akan guna Konsep Coulomb's law tadi. F sama dengan K, Q1, Q2 over R square. So, we have this. Dan seterusnya, K ni macam mana? K is actually 9. Stand for 9, exponent 9. Q1, untuk case ini, Q1 nilai dia berapa? Ada negative sign dekat sini kan? But we never substitute the negative sign. We never substitute, eh? because we have already um, determined the direction manually dekat sini. Negative sign kalau kan di dalam, dia akan confusekan kamu. Okay, dia akan confusekan kamu. So, for not confusing, we never substitute. Okay, the sign here, so remember micro stand for power of negative 6. And what else? Q2 nilai charge dia berapa? 2. Never substitute the negative sign as well. And distance, for example. The distance given here 1 meter. Okay, so substitute with 1 here. Then you can find the value of F12. Okay. And how about the next? Next one. Okay, apa yang kita akan buat? Macam mana? Next one, contohnya F32. 
what we're going to do. Okay, sama juga kira dulu nilainya. So we are going to use the concept of Coulomb's law just now. Apa nilai K? K, 9 exponent 9. Apa nilai Q? 3, 1 exponent negative 6. Q, 2, remember the negative sign never substitute in. And what are the distance between this? Okay. Apa jarak yang terhadap ini? Contohnya diberi 2 meter. Alright. So, ini ganti dengan 2. So, we have this. Then, what will be the next step? In order to find resultant force. Apa yang kita akan buat? Apa yang kita akan buat? Memandangkan dua-dua force itu ke kanan. Okay. Memang kita dah lukis dua-dua ke kanan kan? Ke kanan, we put positive for it, right? What concept do we use here? Di sini, saya boleh tambah terus resultant force saya. Kenapa? Because it is at both of this one at the same axis. Dua-dua ini pada paksi yang sama. Pada paksi X. Maka saya boleh okay, uh, tambah terus. Eh? Okay. Ke kanan, positif kan? Positif. F1, 2. Tambah lagi F3, 2. So, that's my answer. Jadi, kalau force ini ke kanan, force kedua pun ke kanan, so what are the direction for our resultant force? We will found that to the right also. Okay? Force pertama ke kanan. Force kedua juga ke kanan. Maksudnya hasil mereka, okay, the resultant also to the right. Alright, so for this case, that's all.